Hey everyone, Biako once again, and welcome to the 25th installment of Biako Vlogs. And it's been a couple weeks, so let's begin the vlog, shall we, folks? First off, I got a new review, which is the Battletoads animated series. Yes, ladies and gentle YouTubers, I did plan on reviewing that god-awful series. In the past, I've talked about the characters and now the Forgotten Cartoon series. So that's a three-part review I did. If you want to check out part three, the link is on the description. But before I did a review on that show, I revisited it. And it's been 20 years since I haven't seen that cartoon. I mean, they only made one episode, and that's it. Never a full animated series, it was cancelled as a result. End of story. Now, here's some of the questions you're gonna ask. What is your 40th review gonna be, Biako? Well, glad you asked. So far I did 39 episodes, so what will episode 40 of my review will be? Well, you're gonna have to wait until it comes out, so have patience. Next, I have revisited a few games for the Super NES, GameCube, and Wii that I haven't played for a while. First, the games for the Super Nintendo I revisited. Star Fox. Oh boy, I haven't played this game since 1993, and believe me, I had a lot of fun with this one. You get to play as Fox McCloud, flying on R-Wings, teaming up with Slippy, Falco, and Peppy. Man, haven't heard their names for like God knows how long, I can't believe I still remember them. I have beaten that game several times and it's really good. The graphics are awesome, has nice 3D look because they used a Super FX graphics chip giving it a polygon feel to it, and the music has quite a nice soundtrack. My favorite music in that game is the Fortuna background music. That in my opinion is my most favorite music. The next Super Nintendo game I revisited was The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Man, I haven't played that since 1992. It is by far one of the best Zelda games ever made. I had a lot of fun memories with this one. I used to go to either my friend or cousin's house and have a blast. I mean, I can't get enough of Link to the Past. I have beaten it like a few times and it's a really fun as hell Zelda game, but it can be difficult. Next game on Super NES I revisited was Super Godzilla. My god, it's been quite a long time playing that one. I got this game for my birthday in 1994 when I was 10. It's a really fun and enjoyable Godzilla game. The story is about aliens controlling monsters terrorizing Japan, and it's up to old Big G to stop them. Not to mention it's hard as hell. I would play it every once in a while. It's a fun game, plus it's underrated. Now that I've talked about a few Super Nintendo games that I've revisited, next I revisited one game for the GameCube and one for the Nintendo Wii. First, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Wow, been a very long time playing that game. I had a fun time with this Godzilla game, got it for Christmas back in 2002 along with the GameCube. You get to play as one of your favorite monsters from the Godzilla franchise. You and your friends can play four players and have a brawl. It's a pretty good game, but I was thinking they could have added more monsters. And for last, I revisited yet another Godzilla game, which is for the Wii, called Godzilla Unleashed. And I gotta say, it's been almost six years playing that game. Got that for Christmas back in 2007. This is a very fun Godzilla game. You have more monsters like King Caesar, Varin, Violante, Titanosaurus, etc. And two original monsters, Crystalloc and Obsidious. You can also custom your own rules right before you battle. And let me tell you, I had one hell of a freaking blast with this Godzilla game. What else to talk about? Have I seen any movies lately? Yes, one to be exact. The Adventures of the American Rabbit. I have to say it's been 26 years since I haven't seen that film. It's about Rob the Rabbit who saves the world from a villain and the jackals. I do recognize some of the voice actors in that movie like Lorenzo Music, Rossi Taylor, Laurie O'Brien, and of course, two certain voice actors that you know. You probably heard them before working on different animated shows from the 80s. If you don't, I'll give you a hint. I saw something at Baxter's workshop. It'd need a little work, but I bet it would do the job. This is Lord Trang, calling General Trang in Dimension X. Are you there? That's right, Pat Fraley and Barry Gordon. And yes, Rob sounds just like the Nestle Quick Bunny, and it's a fun movie to watch. Now, about my Halloween. Well, I had a nice one. No party, just passing out candies to the trick-or-treaters. That's all. Now, before I end this vlog, I do have a few things to talk about. I have watched an anime from the 80s that I have never seen before called Wannabes. Yeah, that's the name of the anime, folks. Released in December of 1986. Christmas Day, that is. It's about two female wrestlers known as Miki and Aerie who kind of look like Kay and Yuri from Dirty Pair. 
Yes, ladies and gentle YouTubers, it's Dirty Pair mixed with wrestling. It's a fun and enjoyable anime watching anime females beat the living shit out of each other. And I don't understand why I get so much hate, which I heard online. By the way, I know what you're gonna say. Biako, did you see the 2012 TMNT animated series on Nickelodeon? Oh yeah, I did! And what do I think of it? Well, it's really awesome. It was nice to see the turtles again. So far I've seen seven episodes. And yes, Rob Paulson is back to do voices on TMNT again. He was once Raphael, now he's Donatello. And Kevin Michael Richardson is now the voice of Shredder, who you may know him as Panther on the 2011 Thundercats series. One more thing before I end this vlog, I want to show you guys something. Well, what do you guys think of my new desk with a bed on top? Cool, huh? I got it last Friday, and let me tell you, I absolutely love it. Well, that wraps up Yako's 25th vlog. Till then, as always, Roger and out.